Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we're discussing more Tasha K versus Cardi B. Alexa, please play Mariah Carey's Obsessed. So Tasha K did a post and delete, but we still caught what she did because I think finally somebody got through to her or maybe she was too upset by the comments that were dragging her that she deleted a post. And this post, because as you guys know, Tasha K still is taking subliminal shots at Cardi B. I'm sorry, winos. It is the facts. Because you wouldn't go on a show and brag about not having the money after previously for the past three and a half years or so saying you had all the money in the world and that it would be a drop in the bucket, you know, for anything you had to pay Cardi B, except for now you are giving a completely different energy. You are giving a completely different um, smoke screen that you're trying to, you know, run by your fans. But we are here to call out the truth and call out what's real and what is fake news. And so what happened the other day Tasha K thought she was being funny because remember a few days back she was posting about, you know, inventing Anna and how Anna didn't pay, um, you know, or would tell people that the wire transfer would be in by Monday and it wouldn't show up. Spoiler alert for those of you guys who have not seen the show. Um, but basically she scammed people allegedly and paid back a couple people is basically the moral of it all. Um, and then there were consequences. And so Tasha K now is what she's doing is she is pulling clips from different TV shows about people not paying money that they owe. So maybe we'll get a boondocks clip, you know, pay me what you owe. <laughs> maybe we'll, maybe that's coming next. Um, credit me, Tasha K, if you do that. But so what Tasha K did was she posted a video this time of a TV show called Harlots on Hulu that I believe is like a period piece drama. And anyways, there was a video clip of, you know, somebody on the show saying that they didn't have the money and this and that and somebody potentially pulling out of their house investment and all this stuff and that they didn't got the money and they can't afford for them to do that and this and that. And so, you know, Tasha K was gaslighting once again, you know, doing the hashtag, I ain't got it. And a few winos in the comments, you know, were gassing her up, of course, but there was an overwhelmingly amount of people who were not seeing it for Tasha K and said the following comments because that was the most important part in this. And, um, you know, essentially people were saying, girl, sit down, pay that lady. <laughs> um, you know, people were saying this is the calm before the storm. And they're like, OK, well, what about your situation? Because I'm glad you can laugh now, but you're going to be crying later when you have to pay Cardi B that four million. And the comments were just going in and in and in. And normally Tasha K would leave, you know, her post up. But either somebody told her finally to take it down to stop the taunting. Maybe Olga, you know, was finally able to get a hold of her and tell her to stop posting on social media subliminals to Cardi B. Or maybe she got triggered in the comments and just decided to delete the post altogether. But nonetheless, at least for this one post that was again trying to get a reaction out of Cardi B. Um, somebody had the sense to tell Tasha K that this is a no, that this is a no, this is not a good look. Cardi B just filed new paperwork to try to get an injunction against you and you still don't care. You still want to put on a show for your winos. You still want to act like you are above it all and you are untouchable and nothing's going to happen to you because as long as you continue to pull these stunts, the more people are still going to talk about you, even if it's to drag you. And that's just not good, you know, overall for, you know, the future of what this case is going to be. Because we still have an ongoing case, even though we've reached the judgment and everything else, there are still follow up pieces that are taking place like Cardi B's new paperwork that wants an injunction against you, that wants a gag order for you to stop mentioning her name subliminally or her name or it's up and it's stuck or that you ain't got the money to pay her, whatever it is, or going on other people's platforms and throwing disses and digs at her, whatever it is you are still trying to subliminally do, as well as still trying to upload videos. 
and trying to still make a profit off of the slander of the lies that you knowingly told on those previous accounts. Like, just make it stop. Make it stop. So we will see what happens from here. Hopefully this turns a new leaf, but I'm not confident it will. Because if you still don't have accountability, if you still are not going to take responsibility for your actions, this is probably just a bump in the road until she finds another TV show or movie clip about not having the money to have a key key on her Instagram that we will be probably talking about again in a couple of days. Because Tasha K loves to be talked about whether it is good news or bad news. Because any publicity is good publicity in Tasha K's eyes. So that's where we are. That's where we are at right now is Tasha K's love affair of being in the same sentence of Cardi B, even if it's at the expense of her reputation and her credibility. So that's where we are, you guys. That's what she wanted. Thank you. You're welcome, Tasha K. And we will be back next time for the next clip that you pull that you are going to hashtag I ain't got it and try to do another shot at Cardi B. We'll be back. All right. Those of you who are your first time viewing my channel, welcome. Please check out my playlist. I have a playlist break breaking down um, the trial as well as all of these shenanigans that are going on outside of the courtroom because it's just been one thing after another. Also, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon.